What up, family? What's going on, y'all? Man, it's a, it's a dreary, rainy Sunday morning. But we still blessed. Still blessed to open up our eyes. Just real quick, man. I got a quick word, man. Just a quick word. You better know there's a huge difference between being broke and being broken. Again, there's a huge difference between being broke and being broken. There's a lot of people, at least portraying, they have money. And we also know a lot of celebrities that we know for sure have money. But we also know that a lot of those people are walking around and carrying broken hearts and broken spirits. So you can have all the money in the world and still be unhappy. Especially if you had money for a little while and you got past that initial high of being able to go get whatever you want. Then you realize you still have a void in you that can't be filled by money. There's a huge difference between being broke and being broken. And if I was to choose uh, one over the other, I'd rather not be broken. Because I can have little and still be happy. In my, in my spirit, in my soul. Still be happy with who I am. So, I just want to encourage somebody. I notice a lot of times in this world, we really put money over everything and we chase paper. At the end of the day, it's just paper that human beings put power on. When you leave this world, you're going to leave whatever money you had for your family member to do whatever with it. You don't have no say so because it can't go with you. I've been blessed over the last few years to be a leader over men's ministry. And yesterday we had a gathering at my home. Well, we put some steaks on the grill and some other things on the grill, like some wings, some hot dogs. And my wife pitched in and cooked all, cooked all the sides for the brothers. And we just sat down and, and ate, ate a meal together, fellowship like real brothers. Uh, we prayed and then we just, I was touched by a couple of the guys that got real transparent with their testimonies on where they come from and how far God has brought them. And let me tell y'all, man, that's what it's about. Because over the last few months, I've been in, in fellowship with a few guys, man, and I've been noticing that a lot of men are broken, bro. A lot of people in general, but I'm speaking for the men right now because I've been dealing, I've been in close contact with a lot of men that's dealing with some things. Some dealing with divorce, some dealing with separation, some dealing with addictions, drug and alcohol. And a lot of these guys not struggling for no money, but they're broken in their spirit, man, in their heart, and they struggling. So I just wanna encourage somebody, man, to get close to the Lord, bro. Because with the two guys that we fellowship with last night, the Lord brought them through their brokenness. The Lord brought me through my brokenness. And he's the only answer because he who the son sets free is free indeed. Peace.